people used to use their mother tongue and you can identify that person is from tamil nadu that person is from bengal to their accent what they were doing they were just delivering their thought but nowadays it's the pressure and because of facebook and youtube everybody come up with new word and it becomes yes. pressure for us to get to know what is the meaning of that word and keep working on that maybe you're not getting subscribers today but in future after working some time i have great examples i have seen many people like they have been working from last one and a half years and now they have completed 1000 subscriber and the moment they have yeah. completed 1000 subscriber their videos got viral and now they are like having 40 45000 of sub- subscriber like initially like two years you have nothing and all of sudden your one video got like viral and you okay. so hello how are you yeah i'm great what about you i'm doing well and yes we are meeting for the first time so i would like to know more about you would you like to give your introduction yeah i would love to give my introduction i am punam shukla and i have pursued my graduation from kanpur university i born and brought up over there but right now my permanent address is delhi ncr and i am living here with my husband and my 9 year old daughter if i talk about my hobbies so right now my only hobby is to become a fluent speaker as well as a good communicator so that's all about me that's really nice also you are a youtuber yeah yeah i am youtuber also i have started uh, two months back my uh, channel name is english with shukline what does it mean of shukline yeah actually my caste is punam shukla okay okay and i belong from kanpur as i told you so in kanpur people used to you know call the ma- male or female by their surname i understand okay, okay so they don't so call shukla because, yeah i am female so i am shukla and that's why i named I it shukla <laughs> Okay. You know the I moment you said that your name is Poonam, I was so confused. I I thought I it looks like an uh, like Muslim name, so I thought Shoklin something. So the moment you said Poonam, I said Poonam, and here it is mentioned Shoklin. So now my doubt is clear. Yeah, actually Shukla and Shukla is except S H U K L A. So if I want to add, so I have to add double E or I N. That could be it. so. Mm-hmm. Shoklin is a mountain name, so most of the time people got confused. to buy its name so i think what i was looking for it meant that i was looking something catchy so that i just want to make it quite different <laughs> now okay, it's getting so you, you made it yeah now i think it's getting difficult for people to understand i am happy with no, it no it's not no no it's it's fine it's completely fine no issues okay so should i give my introduction to you or you know yeah yeah like about no little bit i just know that mm, Quite uh, something about you. Okay. Little bit knowledge I okay. ha- have you about you. Okay. So let me introduce myself. My name is Karishma Chauhan. I am talking to you from Gurgaon. Basically, I hail from Delhi. I have completed my education there. I have done LLB and therefore I am a practicing advocate now. I am a mother of two kids and uh, I am a YouTuber. That's all about. Me. Yeah, nice. I know. Actually, I have seen your video. But when you call me, na, I wasn't aware that your name is Karishma. I have seen your many videos, <laughs> and today itself, I watched your okay. recent video about na, don't take classes, coaching classes. But oh, you know, okay, 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 yes, yeah. I so I watched that video. So I wasn't aware. So when you call me, I am actually not in the practice of such kind of things. So most of the time, I don't aware and I don't be ready for that. So that's I why I do ask you for time. Yeah. So where do you put up in Delhi? In Delhi is NCR, Ghaziabad. Ghaziabad. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, my mother's place is in Delhi, and that is in Lakshmi Nagar, like uh, IP extension nearby. Okay. Yes, I am to I'm not quite close to border. It's like Anand Vihar. You must know yeah. Anand Vihar. Anand Vihar. Yeah. yeah, that's that's very near to me. <laughs> yes, yes. So I am living there, Anand Vihar. Okay, the border. Okay, okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. So, like, why do you want to improve your English? I feel that your English is already good. If you think so, it's a quite a compliment for me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Actually, the thing that I just want to do introduce my daughter with the English atmosphere. That was the only reason when I, you know, got pregnant and I gave a birth to a girl. 
I was. It was only my wish. I just want to make her confident, and I just want to make her in, in terms of this language, because I can understand being a from a Hindi medium background, and despite living in Delhi from last fifteen years, how much I am, you know, you know, facing uh, kind of problems. I just want to introduce yes. with her. From there, I started my journey, and I started keeping things. I I started observing things like you know utensils, name, all the things. Whenever we start, we start with our kitchen and such kind of things. Yes. So and after that, I st started getting interest in this language. Now I feel I am head over the heel with this language. I must say. And yes. when I see my daughter, she can speak well, quite well. So I feel like that whatever step I has taken is going well. Yeah, it's amazing. And you know what we mothers are mostly think about their kids every time, and whatever we do, that is always in the favor of our kids. So because like the same like you, I have also started my journey just because of my kid, and I thought of like I would like to give him the environment of speaking English, and that's the reason I have learned first, and then we learn together, and now he is able to speak English. So that is the only reason I have started. This was the main motive. and apart from that like being an advocate it is also important that you should know english language because when you are going to argue in the court the language matters it is not like um, matters in the day to day conversation but when you are presenting yourself in the profession that uh, really matters a lot so these are the two reason yeah. i have learned and i am from hindi background same like you so obviously i faced a lot of difficulty while i was learning this language yeah. but now i feel that it's fine yeah you are doing great actually the problem is that we are in the background how much how much we are trying to learn this language but sometimes we feel like how much is left what uh, else i can learn like in terms of idiom and phrases and the vocab so these kind of things always made me sometimes unhappy ki despite doing such things i am not getting that much fluency which i am looking for yes. so it happened so oh, yeah yeah you are working so you are getting the atmosphere and for your point mm. of view it's very much required when you are in any circumstances you can't say ki being a lawyer i can't speak english yes. no matter in any profession you are english is mandatory and it could be a barrier for your growth yes you know, absolutely yes 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 absolutely right even you know uh, i feel that today's time english is really important but yes one said you have one point you have mentioned correctly how much we learn always it, it feels like that something is left something is left it is only because you know a uh, trend i feel that it's a trend of speaking english people are coming up with the new new words and new new phrases every day so yes, it is sir. kind of conversion for us to learn the same you know if i talk about like 10 years or 12 years ago english is not like that it's not that important even but now it is not only important but we have to speak in such a way that it looks elegant only speaking yes. is not enough if you are speaking basic english talking to a person in a very normal language day to day words you are using it it doesn't look good if you want to uh, if you will use uh, some good words advanced vocabulary phrases and you know Uh, style is also matter sometimes accent is also matter these days yeah so that time we feel pressure like how much i need to learn for become a good speaker so yeah. that is the reason we feel sometimes that we have not even learned sufficient english as compared yes, to others i also i you know agree actually the problem is that whenever we speak whenever we learn something new as you told me earlier it was like you are capable enough to convey your feelings but yes. this was the only focus where you are only from focus. south you are from bengal people used to use their mother tongue and you can identify that person is from tamil nadu that person is from yes. bengal through their accent what they were doing they were just delivering their thoughts but nowadays yes. it's a pressure and because of facebook and youtube everybody come up with new words they just google a meaning of new word and they just post it and it becomes yes. pressure for us to get to know what is the meaning of that word yes what is exactly a person a person use that word and i don't know it would be a embarrassing moment but can't yes. possible ki we can learn each and everything if i talk about phrasal verb phrasal verb are quite different thing you know no we cannot learn each and every phrasal verb oh, we nice. can understand it's okay 
but when we talk use phrasal verb we sound like more native yes first thing we have to match up in that first of we have to learn translation then we have to learn advanced structure models and causative and now we have learned this so we have to learn about phrasal verb idiom and the more important yes. thing is accent if you don't yes. say wanna gotta it means you are not that up to yes <laughs> absolutely kind of, absolutely yeah it's no it's happened it's happened with celebrities also if they are speaking in a normal way they started getting such kind of uh, comments like ma'am if your english is okay but i think you should work on your accent why should i work on my accent if i am happy with it i am uh, capable enough to deliver yeah it's a uh, it's the person choice if i am willing to adopt a accent then it's totally okay and you won't believe uh, there are n numbers of village girls i have seen their videos and the way they are talking you know sometimes we feel like they are putting pressure fake accent but some i yesterday i saw a video the girl was talking totally fantastically and there was no accent issue it was like a native speaker is talking so if you are giving that much dedication it's quite okay i feel it's the kind of pressure we are facing but still we love this language so we have to learn this thing yeah absolutely and you know there are many new words come into this particular language and even sometimes i don't even know the meanings of those and uh, what do we call that like uh, abbreviation kind of things like yeah, people yeah, use to communicate yeah. in that but yeah. i really don't know about them because we are so much busy in our life taking care of kids and family and profession yes. so you know we do not have this much time to learn everything So yes. personally, if you talk about me, I am very much happy to speak basic English. I don't use any fancy word or something. I just, you know, uh, working on my grammar because I personally feel that here and there I make mistakes while I am speaking, in especially yes. in grammar or especially when I am talking about my past. So I am working on that. Other than that, I don't care. Like uh, I should learn it or learn it. But yes, sometimes I feel I should learn it only for the purpose of. uh creating videos because many people are watching me so i thought like if yeah. they are watching me they should learn something from me for that reason i would learn but for my personal improvements i don't feel that it's required i am capable enough to convey my message and that's uh, like people understand people say uh, come to me and say like you are speaking very basic english and that's the good thing about you that we are able to understand so i feel yeah, okay yeah. that whatever i'm doing it's it's really good no issue no amendment required <laughs> yeah yeah you are quite right actually the things you are telling us if we are speaking basic english as you told me that you made mistake while you are talking about past same thing happened with me and i one silly mistake i also made while you know using he and she okay it happened it happened most of the time and and there are few words it, these are like no mistake in my mouth and whenever i try to correct them in one or two attempt i will do this when i go in the flow it's happened i go back to my mistakes so it's happened and i have uh, watched many videos people are saying this kind of mistake everyone do yes Mostly people uh, do such kind of minuscule mistake and we should not pay attention that much but inwardly yes. i feel like if i am speaking i should not repeat such kind of mistakes again and again but i know it will take time that's why i have chosen this platform because if i got opportunity every day to talk people so it would be easy for me to rectify this mistake because when you yes. talk your kids you hardly talk for 10 or 15 minutes jab aap gusse hote ho na to you come in your own language own language yes <laughs> you know we would prefer you know, when we are scolding we can't scold in english so yes. if we get that much fluency that we can scold in english at that time i will feel that yeah, i am good enough <laughs> <laughs> absolutely right whenever we are in anger and we want to uh, express something very emotional then always yeah. we come to our mother tongue we don't prefer to explain or give express our emotions in this language i don't know it's very natural and i think it's with, it is with everyone it's okay um, yeah it's, okay, yeah, it's with everyone yeah so like uh, what is your channel name english with to client Okay, English with your client. Okay, <laughs> just message yeah. me or like link or something. I'll see you. So, what kind of videos do you post? Like the conversational videos or any other stuff apart from conversational videos? Frankly speaking, right now I am jumping. Like I am chasing my own tail. I am doing something this one, sometimes this one, and 
I feel like they, I have lost my track. I have lost my motto, and maybe you have must have feel such kind of things. So actually, I started with the motto that I will improve my conversation, and I thought I will teach because I have a kind of tendency of teaching. I used to be a teacher, you know, when I was not married. So I started with the content making, like grammar rules and should would. I am very fond of talking about conditional, causative. This kind of thing also always fascinate me. And I'm quite good, I can say, not that much better, but I can make people understand. But then I came across this Skype app and such kind of conversation. So okay. I thought he it's the best platform, and I started getting subscriber also. So what I did, I jump into it. Now I'm feeling that I am dwelling between two things, and I am not able able to understand what should I do. and okay. you know sometimes i feel like i am not doing right thing i should focus on one thing but simultaneously i my just focus is to enhance my communication for that conversation is must important yes you know no matter how much you are learning if you are not able to deliver it if you are not able to use it in your day to day conversation some after some time you will forget each and everything yes right yeah so for that point of view can i ask you one thing what what kind of response like you are getting good response nowadays so what was your earlier days when you started your channel how was your experience is there any bad memories mm -hmm. any kind of frustration you face like i am facing yes. right now i want to tell you that before starting this english channel i had worked like with three, three different channels and they don't work for me uh, the first channel was related to legal knowledge where i used to deliver Uh, legal knowledge topics in english language sometimes in hindi and i explain them i stopped working on that because i thought of like i am not getting good views but although i was getting good views it was my misconception that i should get good views in each and every video which is not possible second channel i have created for my kid like mitanj when he was like one year old i started creating uh, videos related to motherhood what kind of product i am using this and that that channel don't work for me few videos okay. are like uh, got viral but i was not work dedicatedly for that channel third again i started something i don't even remember and this was the fourth channel related to english and this is like my motive was to improve my english and i start with solo content like i i used to deliver a solo content related to english like how am i learning english or how i have learned english what are the things i did in my past in order to improve and then so, you know uh, gradually when i feel like stuck because i was pregnant last year and uh, my baby is uh, 10 months old now so i thought of like okay i'm not getting time to create these kinds of content because i need to think a lot for creating these kinds of video i have to prepare i yeah, have yeah. to thought and you know everything so conversational conversational videos are much easy to create like i'm creating with you it's like 20 minute video i don't need to edit much especially if i talk about this video i don't think that i'm going to edit any single thing in this video i'm going to post okay. as it is uh, on youtube so it will it saves my time actually so yes, now yes. i am creating conversational video but obviously my i am like uh, my passion is to create my own content i am always passionate about that so in between whenever i get time i also upload individual content like like two three days ago i posted two single videos solo videos like whether you should join online classes or not something yeah, yeah, and i give my opinion it. on that so this is how i am doing like it is all depends upon the time and my comfortability my schedule because i have to attend hearings in the morning it's very busy or hectic schedule for me the whole day is like quite busy for me so when i yeah. feel that i'm having time so i create own content otherwise i'm posting conversational videos this is what i'm doing and i'm getting good response it's not bad it's it's quite okay i'm satisfied okay so since how long have you been creating your videos in this channel particular channel one and a half years more than one and a half years it's about two years i think few months left maybe so two years i, should, I don't even remember yeah i think i should take you know some motivation because you know it, you can understand my situation it's been only two months and i i talk about english with dehati ma'am and there are so many channels i have uh, you know observed they always said that it's my third channel it's my second channel it's you know dehati ma'am also told it is it's her third channel So it's my fourth channel. You you can get inspiration for me because you know it is something which is like my passion and I was very dedicated. I just 
want to do something and something with youtube because it's in my mind from last 4 years when i came to know about youtube i started listening videos and from that time i was thinking to create something my own it is inside me it is my passion and until it's completed yeah. i was you know running behind it still i'm doing really hard work to maintain this channel I, and i want to see myself growing after like 2 to 3 years after that because my kids yeah. will grow up and then i'm i'll be able to devote get enough time. time on that yeah so i yeah. can create good content and i believe that i will do that so now i'm satisfied but yes consistency required a lot to maintaining yeah, a youtube so sometime i like from last two days when i was not getting subscriber and things were not going well i kind of person uh, it's not only me most of the happen is everyone we are most mm-hmm. easily got demotivated so mm-hmm. but i believe that i should not give up that much it's only two months you know you what should else could you please tell me i shouldn't na what do you think you you will get uh good subscribers see you have to trust on your skill if you yes. know that you are speaking well you can uh, make people understand about something it means that you have that skill and if you have that skill just be confident about that and keep working on that maybe you're not getting subscribers today but in future after working sometime i have great examples i have seen many people like they have been working from last one and a half years and now they have completed 1000 subscriber and the moment they have yeah. completed 1000 subscriber their videos got viral and now they are like having 40 45 thousands of sub- subscriber like initially like two years you have nothing and all of sudden your one video got like viral and you are like getting subscribers like 40 45000 a huge amount So yeah, really, you never get demotivated. Work. I feel you have to be motivated. Yeah, time. because you know, you know, I have seen many YouTubers in my you know Skype. There are many. They are getting hundred subscriber each and every day. I have seen many. They are getting hundred subscriber. So I am not jealous of uh, with them. But the thing is that I just want to know. If sometimes I feel like skeptical about, I started doubting on myself. Am I not capable enough to projecting? Knowing something is quite different, but how you are projecting? in front of people how you are focusing is that that is more important so i sometimes i feel maybe because of my age maybe i am not that good in look look wise you know some no, some kind of things are happening in it's my mind so, it is the youtube policy you can say it's a algorithm it's a youtube policy you have to work hard if you will be consistent 110% you will get you will be getting the result that is for sure you it's just that you have to keep patience and you have to be consistent throughout your like whole year you cannot take gap if you will take gap then it might be a problem but otherwise i think you you it's not only about you even many other people who are working hard on youtube uh, i want to like i want to say i want to tell them like you have to be consistent keep working do not feel demotivated one day you will surely get success in this i i can see my journey like it's like fourth channel can you imagine like yeah, how yeah. much patience these i have words, <laughs> yeah these words given <laughs> me a lot of motivation because i started feeling i was spending whole day most of the time okay now i have to go i have received a call from my son's tuition teacher <laughs> so i have to go and okay okay it was really nice talking to you some day other i will also talk to you i would love to talk to sure. you sure 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 thank you so much for joining me bye bye Bye.